so uh, it is recording okay good first things first sorry i haven't uploaded for like four or five days i was really worn out and i needed a break so i'm very sorry guys and hope you will forgive me and without out of the way let's begin our story hello there guys it's blue Cown here back in another video and today we're going to do a new series i'm going to call it what if deku had asta's power part one hope you enjoy it So guys, I don't know if someone did this what if before. So if someone did it before me, please tell me in the comment section. So for this what if to work, Asta have to build his body from a young age. Because like you know, Asta's sword are really heavy. Even the Wizard King acknowledged that Asta's sword are really heavy and he's impressed that he can hold them and swing them like... And swing... I can't pronounce this word. Swing them like he did in the anime. So for that, when Deku got bullied when he was little, he decided to get stronger in his own way, not just stand in his place and just start crying. He built his body, like Asta did in his anime. And because of that, Baku didn't bully Deku as much as his counterpart in the anime. But he still bullied him nonetheless. And Deku's life was still the same, he trained every day, but he didn't unlock his quirk. But he still don't lose hope for him to become a hero. So one day he decided to go uh, take a shortcut to home. Then he got attacked by Sludge Villain. And because of his training, Deku was strong enough to get away from the Sludge Villain. I, and buy himself enough time to All Might to show up. Then All Might defeated Sludge Villain and put him in the bottle of water. And All Might in, in congratulates Deku for his quick thinking and uh, his power. And tell him you will be a good hero someday. Just keep, just keep training with your quirk. And when Deku heard that, he quickly jumped and, and grabbed onto his leg. Then All Might jumped, then he see Deku and then he land on top of the building. Then he tell him, that was dangerous young man, you could get badly hurt. Deku tell him, I know, I know, sorry sir, but I have something to ask you. All Might sighed, tell him, what is it kid? Deku tell him, can I be a hero without a quirk? All Might was wondering what Deku is talking about, then ask him, you have a quirk, that's super strength. Deku tell him, no, I don't have any quirk, that was only my raw power. And All Might was astonished. This kid have this much power and without a quirk. Then something inside All Might just snap, and he start getting covered with mist. Then he transformed to his skinny form. Deku tell him, "Are you really All Might?" All Might tell him, "Yeah." Then he showed his injuries. Deku re recognized injuries from that attack. Then then All Might tell him, "You can't become a hero without a power or a quirk. Even though you train your body to his limit, you are always come short if you fight someone with a quirk. Then All Might leaves. Then they hear an explosion. Then All Might look inside his pocket and see that Sludge Villain is not there. He run as fast as he can in his skinny form toward the explosion. At the same time Deku did hear the explosion, he jumped from roof to roof because he can. And when he arrived, he sees the Sludge Villain and a bunch of heroes, but the heroes not doing nothing, they are powerless against him. Then they hear them talking about the, the villain have a hostage. Deku look closely and he see Bakugo, and we, without him taking, he jumped toward the sludge villain. And once sludge villain see him, he tell him, oh, it's you again, kid. This time, All Might will not save you. Deku grab his backpack and throw it against the sludge villain, hitting his eye. Then he grabbed Bago from his shirt and he slowly got him out of the sludge villain. But not fast enough. The sludge villain see Deku and he... The sludge villain hit Deku, sent him flying toward the wall. Then Bago tell Deku to get away from me, Crocolus, I don't need your help. And sludge villain hear that, then he tell Deku, Oh, so are, you are a Crocolus. Start laughing at Deku. And he tell him, look behind you. Even the pros with, with their quirk can do nothing to me. What do you think you can do? You're just a quirkless, so just give up already. Deku slowly got up, then he tell him, I will never give up. I will become a hero no matter what. Then a black book surrounded with red aura appeared just above Deku. He slowly descended toward Deku's face, then he opened. Then something came out, out of it. Then Deku said, this is for me. 
Then he grabbed the, uh, the grimoire and took out this huge sword, the demon slayer sword. Then Sludge Villain told him, what was that? A sword? What do you think that's going to do against me? Then the who grabbed his sword with everything he's got. Then he charged toward the villain. Then he slammed him with his sword. Freeing Baku and sending the villain straight toward the wall. Then Sludge Villain told him, what the? Did this kid just hurt me? What are you kid? And what's up with that sword? Deku smiled him, I don't know. Then Baku uh, got up and told him, Deku, what's up with this sword? Deku tell him, I don't know. I just know that this sword is my power. I can just feel it. And I know I can beat him with this. So, shall we? With a smile on his face. Baku smiled back. Then he tell him, try to not get in my way. Then a bot start charging at Denumu. Baku using his explosion. And Deku using his sword. After a minute, the Stanjin had enough and he was utterly exhausted. Baku who sees that, then he quickly fly toward the sludge villain. He fired explosion at him, setting him fly toward the air. Then he yelled, Deku! Deku understand, then Deku jumped toward the sludge villain and hit him with his sword, slamming him against the ground, knocking him out. Then Deku tell him, Yes, we beat him. Then, De then Baku tell him, Don't get cocky. Deku tell him, Sorry, sorry. Then Baku smiled at him, but you did a good job for a quirkless. Deku smiled back and, and All Might did see all the fight. Then he said to himself, these two have a lot of power and potential in them. The green hair ha have some type of anti-quirk or something, he can hurt the sludge villain. And the other one has and, and the other one had explosions. After the fight, Deku and Baku got scolded by the heroes for what they did. But they did tell them that they did a good job. So two of them walked toward home. On the way home, Baku asked Deku, what's up with that grimoire? Deku told him, I don't know. He just show up after I did say I'm not going to give up. Then Baku told him, take out your sword. Deku told him, what for? Baku told him, just do it already. Deku told him, okay, okay. Then he take out his demon slayer sword. Then Baku start uh, creating small explosion in his hand. Then he tell Deku, try to touch my hand or my arm with your power, uh, with your sword. Deku tell him, okay, and the moment the sword touch Baku go, his, his uh, explosion stop. Then Baku tell him, as I thought, you have the power to cancel your quirks. Deku tell him, really? Wow, this sword is much stronger than I thought. I just thought that this sword can hurt something, create of water or something like that. Baku tell him, don't be stupid. Then he tell him, you did tell us that you want to go to UA, right? Deku not tell him, yeah, I want to be a hero. Then Baku tell him, okay, from now on, you are going to train with me until the UA enters exam. Deku tell him, really? Baku go not. Then he tell him, don't think you can get ahead of me. Got it, Deku? I'm always be stronger than you, even you that canceling quirk power or anti quirk power. Then, Baku, then Deku smile back and tell him, I'm going to become stronger, even stronger than you. And then I'm going to be the number one hero. Then two of them started arguing for who was going to be number one hero. Then they part ways. And Deku lived a little bit further than Bakugo, so he started walking the way home, alone. Then he met All Might, in his buff form. Then he tell him, ah, I am here. Then he did transform to his skinny form, coughing up blood. Then Deku tell him, All Might, what are you doing here? All Might tell him nothing. They just come to congratulate you for what you did against the sludge villain. Deku tell him, thank you. Then All Might asked him, what's up with that grimoire? Deku tell him, I don't know, he just show up uh, doing the fight. Then All Might tell him, I never thought of a quirk coming in the shape of the book. But nowadays, quirk come in different shape and forms. What is your quirk do? Deku tell him, I just experiment with my friend. My quirk can cancel anything it can touch. All Might tell him, whoa, you have a canceling quirk? That's rare. Almost like eraser head. And All Might tell him, for how long can you erase someone's quirk? Deku tell him, I don't know, I'm pretty sure as long as my sword can touch him, he, he can't use his quirk. Then All Might asked Deku, what is your dream, kid? What, what, why do you want to become a hero? Then Deku tell him, I want to be number one hero. Then he tell him the same thing he did in the enemy. Then All Might tell him, you know you only have your quirk to cancel anything you can touch. So if you fight someone is faster than you, you will lose. Or someone can use long range, att long range attack. Deku tell him, I know. But I'm not going to give up on, a dr on my dream that easy. Then he asked Deku, do you want to become my successor? 
Dak would tell him, what do you mean, All Might? Then All Might explained that he has the power to transfer his quirk to anyone he wants. So do you, want, do you accept? Then he tell him the backstory of One for All. Then Dak would tell him, I don't think that your quirk will work on me. All Might tell him, why? Dak would tell him, my quirk can cancel anything you can touch. So if you give me your quirk, your quirk will be no effect when I use it. Because my sword will cancel it. All Might tell him, good point there. Well, good luck, kid. Before I go, I'm going to be a teacher in UA next year. So maybe I will become your teacher when you enter. Deku smiled and tell him, I will look forward to, sir. Then All Might walked away. So Deku ran home, and when he arrived, he showed his mom his grimoire and his sword. His mom was proud of him to unlock his court and never given up on his dream. But she did scold him about fighting a villain, and she quickly forgave him. So later that day, Deku inspected his grimoire. Then he said to himself, so I, I have only one sword, huh? Then he picked up the Demon Slayer sword. Then he told to himself, this sword is a little bit too big. Plus, I don't know anyone who can use sword. Or I, I, and I don't have any experience using sword, so how I'm going to use it. Then the grimoire page just flipped, then she revealed the second sword. Then Deku said, whoa, this sword is small. But I still don't have any experience using sword, so how am I going to use them? Uh, I'm going to take off it uh, tomorrow. I'm tired from the fight. Then Deku take, uh, put his sword in his grimoire and he fell asleep. So it's the next day, Deku woke up to class and he was surrounded by the classmate, asking him to show, him, to show them his quirk or his book, because they did hear what he did against the slight villain. Deku said, okay, then he take out his demon slayer sword. Then they said, whoa, this sword is too big. Maybe compositing for something? <laughs> Sorry for the bad joke. Deku left nervously, then the teacher entered the room and told everybody to sit down. After class, Deku woke up to Bago and tell him, Yo, Bago, Bago tell him, what do you want, Deku? Then Deku take out his demon dweller sword. Then Deku tell him, look, I have two swords now. Bago tell him, good for you, right now you can do wield, you loser. Deku tell him, ah, come on, Kachan, don't be like that. Then Bago tell him, whatever. Do you, do you know how to use them? Do you have any experience using sword? Deku tell him, no, I don't. Then Bako tell him, why don't you enroll in, enroll in school or do some classes or whatever. So basically he tell him to do some train with a professional to use his sword. Deku nod. So after class, he runs straight home. He, he search in the internet for his closest swordsman school or whatever you want to call it. And he applied there. Then Deku spent the rest of the year training how to use his sword perfectly. And I guess I'm going to stop video right here. So if you guys enjoyed, drop a like and tell me what you think of it in the comment section. And if you're not around here, consider to subscribe and peace.